Hi, I'm Chrissy Wunner and welcome to my video profile. I'm giving you the chance to get up close and personal with me and to find out a little bit more about me, things you would never ever know. Enjoy! Well, I was one of those kids that always wanted to go to Hollywood as a child. You know, there's all those um, teenagers that are obsessed with it. I don't know why I was, but I definitely was. I said I was at 13. I said I was moving to Hollywood. I was going to marry a movie star and I was going to be a superstar. And my mum said, well, after you've done your A-levels, because I was in a boarding school at the time, then... Um, the deal's on, you can go do it. So I had sat through school, which I was actually good at, even though everyone thinks I'm a bimbo. I was like a straight A student in school, quite quiet, quite normal, a bit, a bit, well, my attire was a bit sexy for school, I guess, but um, who cares about that? Um, as soon as I finished my A-levels, I got on a plane, I enrolled in a performing arts school over there that I had got a little scholarship to, and flew over there, started school, performing arts school. And um, within two weeks, everyone was telling me it was going to be really difficult. And it wasn't when you, it wasn't really when I was young. Two weeks, I got my first agent. The third week, I went in for my first audition and that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I couldn't believe it. A girl from Yorkshire, I didn't get it, but <laughs> it really sort of opened my eyes to the fact that dreams can really come true in this town. So I studied hard, I worked hard. And um, I was dating a boy at the time who was also doing the same thing. So that kind of like egged me on to do better. And um, I started going out on auditions for all the main shows then. All the W, it was like the OC, Scrubs. I can't remember what was on at the time, but loads of things. And um, and movies too. And like doing a bit of modelling. And it that's how it really happened. I heard a lot of no's, loads of no's. But it didn't bother me. I was just so happy to be there. Being on the Paris Hilton show was, um, for me, probably one of the best things I've ever done. And I don't know why. it. I don't, I don't have a negative thing to say about it, but mainly because I didn't take it seriously. I didn't take myself seriously. I went in there to have a good time. And out of everyone, I did. And that's how I made my mark. And I think the difference between me and some of the other girls in the house is that I wasn't 19, I'm 28. And at 28, you don't take yourself seriously anymore. You're just having a laugh. You're surrounded by plink and pink and fluff and diamantes the whole time. It's just funny. Whereas, um, I don't know, I just had a good time. So for me, it's definitely been one of the best things I've ever done. And it's made a lot more people know who I am. And because I'm an attention whore, I like that very, very much. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm a bad influence on young girls of our nation and I've been banned from like all sorts of schools because people are Facebook me, booking me in class and in media or whatever but that's not my that's not my problem really I'm not a bad influence I'm teaching girls to be strong to be independent to not take themselves seriously I mean if I knew what I if I knew now what I knew when I was 15, I would have been rocking this joint. I'd have the whole of England in, my, in the palm of my hand, you know, and I'm teaching them that sexy is okay. Being who you are is okay. Um, do, it doesn't matter what you do, where you're from, um, celebrate it. And I don't mean that sounds cheesy because I'm not cheesy. Do whatever you want, whenever you so wish to do it. And you don't really need permission from anyone. On Who cares what anyone else says? I think I'm a great influence on young girls and on young boys. All of them, like whether they be gay, straight, female, male, it doesn't matter. Um, I think I'm doing, they don't realise it now, but it's one of those things that years, when years have passed and I'm dead or something, they'll be like, oh, she was, she was quite great. You know, and I don't. And also I was told that I apparently I don't think there's anything wrong with pursuing sort of um, a career in show business. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I don't think it's wrong for a child to want to do that. And for girls who want to glam up, who want to wear makeup, who want to do their hair every morning, who want to wear a little skirt with high heels. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It doesn't mean they're slaggy. It's just expression and it's strength. And I think that's good. If they want to do that, they want to do that. It's fine. Oh, God, I rambled on then. <laughs> if you want to continue following my adventures, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and, well, of course, www.christywinner.com.